We're at the High End Munich 2023, second day. Next to me, Manfred from El uh, Audio Physic. Alpha Audio, that's me. Audio Physic. Um, it's the first interview, I'm sorry. Um, well, we captured you in the hallway. Uh, lucky us, because there is actually some news from Audio Physic, and it has to do with the uh, midtone unit we saw last year in the Medias. That's, that's right. As what you can see here is an, an older version, about one year old, and uh, we are still continuing to, to improve the version. And we improved the frame structure, it's, it's lighter and even more rigid than before. And uh, this one is much more precise, and uh, all the complete frequency response, everything has improved a lot. So we are pretty close now to a kind of a pre-production and hoping to run into a real production next year when, when all the tools and everything is tested. Because making a prototype is one story, but to make a real product out of it, that's the next story. But, but we are very happy and uh, I'm extremely happy about what has happened with the 3D printing processes. It's extremely precise, the tolerances are almost zero and yeah, I think for me this is clearly the future of, of loudspeakers. Uh, what uh, I mean, if you compare it to a, a regular midtone unit, which is mostly uh, uh, well uh, a solid material, what 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 does it solve? The normal basis is the our spider is mid-range, which, which yeah. is already quite good one. Well, quite good, yeah. <laughs> uh, but if you listen to this, you hear so many more information in the music. That is it faster. Yeah, fast is, is a word that is often used in a, in a, in a weird way, but I don't like this. It, it's, in a way, it's faster, but it's, it's, uh, it offers much more detail, much more information. And no, no smearing? No. It's, it's absolutely clean, but it doesn't, it's, it's not lean, it's clean. <laughs> and uh, as I said, you hear recordings that you thought you, you know, but then you get some better idea about it. It's, it's not only that the tonality is better, it's you get a much deeper look into the music than, than you got before. But how, I mean, this, this has very high resolution. Yes, um, how do you uh, combine a regular tweeter with a regular woofer and then this midtone? The woofer is not a problem at all because it can be crossed over at around 200 hertz. So that's, that's quite simple. So any, any good woofer can do this. The tweeter is another story, but as soon as we have come to, to solve all the small problems with this and are in production, we are already thinking about the tweeter. Ah. Because I always uh, want to have a perfect blending. In our normal speakers, we have aluminum cone mid ranges and aluminum cone tweeters just for the better blending. So it's natural that after this, we have to. It's the next step. So we, we saw this already in the Medias. Uh, what will the, the next step be? Because you're not going to use this only in your top Halo product. Yeah, in the beginning it will be in the top models first because uh, to solve all the all the small problems is something, and it, it will be expensive. But as I as I said, the, the the development of the 3D printing processes, it's not only that it's much better; it's even the price point is going down. So I think it's. It's a question of time when it can be found in, in a Medex or in a Codex or maybe even in a Spark or the Avanti later. Maybe not, not this year, but it's a question of not if, but only when. Well, that sounds really interesting. I'm curious about uh, the next steps in this uh, mid-range and when we're not going to see it. Yeah. Thank you for your time. And next time you will hear it here. Cool. Thank you. Okay, thank bye bye. You.